then uh, I remember uh, my mother going to Los Angeles and uh, I didn't know anything about the city, but uh, uh, she uh, was living at a, uh, it, it might have been uh, like a boarding house, I don't know, there were just the two of us. But uh, occasionally we went about two or three blocks down the street to a little ice cream store and she, we would have a dish of ice cream. Where was this? I, I remember that. Where were you living at the time? In later years, I found out that the place was up on the corner of uh, Grand Avenue and First. Downtown Los Angeles. So right down downtown Los Angeles. And uh, also, that was in 1910. I was three years old. And uh, there was an explosion right across the street from this little ice cream store. I found out later that uh, a group of fellows had blown up the uh, Los Angeles Times. The reason they did that was because the Times was non-union, and uh, they were they were soon apprehended. It was called the McNamara Brothers, and uh, they were union fellows, and uh, they went to jail for it. You later worked at the Times and, of course, knew what the Times... And as the years went by, eventually I, I worked at the Times. So I had I heard all about that incident. Did the unions ever break into the Times? Did the what? Uh, the, uh, the explosion was because of, of the union activity. Did yeah. the union ever get into the Times? No. No, that would be a long, long story. But uh, they paid such good um, uh, wages and good uh, working conditions that uh, the people of, of the times didn't feel like it was necessary to, to belong to a union.